Hey guys, welcome back to Ecocalypse. So we're going to be um, trying to uncover what are your vibration arms. So technically they are your equipment. Some of them or most of them actually is um, exclusive equipment. But the good thing about these exclusive equipments is that you can use them with the cases that are not, you know, uh, tied to that equipment. So Let's say, for example, I have here the vibration arms of Wadjet, but uh, I think this is Kiki. So Kiki can actually use it. So that is the good thing about it. You can use, you can assign any of these vib vibration arms um, to any SSR as long as they meet the requirements. So, the SSRs, these ones, can only be equipped with SSRs as well, even if it's not the actual case. So for your SRs, same as well. Uh, you can equip SRs to SRs. Um, you cannot equip SSRs to SRs. But for this one, this, these are easier to find. So for SRs, Nezhana, she is using her own... Um, uh, vibration arm exclusive to her and also for eriri she is also using her own which gives them um if i may mention this um, gives them the ability to trigger these activations because they are using their own uh, vibration arms or equipment okay so as for the rest including this one so this is for for my avatar so this is exclusive to him or her if he's using a her so it is activating here so the world resonates with awakener and and 50 percent chance to sun the enemy who has the highest attack with a skill range of one round so this is activated for this avatar however for uh, this is Fenri Fenriru. So this one belongs to Nightingale for for Yulia. This one belongs to Aurora, and again for Kiki, this belongs to Wadjet. So as you can see, you can actually determine whether it's the exclusive uh, SSR because of the um icon or the avatar here if the av avatar matches definitely it's going to be uh the exclusive weapon for that specific case so again it's similar here Snezana is here while the rest are not so what do these do they give you additional stats your vibration arms as you can see here the higher the rarity the higher the stat it gives so if we go, this is your SSR. If you go to SR, it's only one two. For for um, SR, it's going to be two one attack. So a big difference in terms of going up. So I would suggest that for all of your SSR, try to equip them with SSR as well, because your SRs are going to also be equipped with only SSRs. They cannot be equipped with SR vibration arms okay but everybody can use the r's which are the blue ones so you, let's say for example we use this drunken ink let's say we swap it this you can you can even switch out all of the enhancements and also your ssrs can also use the blue ones so blues are for everybody um violets are for srs and um your orange is for SSR. So again, these are a good addition to stats, armor, resistance, attack. As you can see here, these add to your stats. They can be enhanced as well. And also they can be broken through, especially if you have copies of them already. And they can be enhanced. So everybody's um, vibration arms are already enhanced. Minimum of 10... But I'll have to enhance this again to 12. So um, you're asking me where you could get these currency. This one, the crystalline cells. 
uh, and also these, the uh, heterogeneous solution. So I'm gonna take you to Chimera Contact. So there's a, a shortcut here, but we're going to go the long way. I'm gonna go to the home and it's in patrol, the last one. For those who haven't really digested what this is, this is farming for those two, um, what do you call this? Those two currency and also these. You have uh, Expedition Core Point and Expedition Point. So four items can be farmed here. So there are yield details for this um, for this content. You can actually claim them here every now and then once it yields amounts. Okay. So how can you improve on the yield? You have to make sure that these ones, the research zones up here, you have to level these up up to the max that you can so so far i haven't really done much time um uh with these so i'm actually very low on the levels for the rest but the this one the uh, nebu sa research so i have worked on these earlier and i'm at 131 so it gives a big contribution to the yield for the processing room and also it opens here so the higher the floor that you have a research area core will be open so that is it this also contributes to the four currencies that you have here so let me just have a round for here so at 131 so deploy three one two three let's say for example that's my deployment so every time you advance you can explore then you can actually uh, skip this and you'll get the result. So we have to manually do this every time up to here. So as you go through the halfway point, then your roster is filled. Also here, your roster is filled here. So goes back to a few assigned. So only three can be deployed. Actually four for here. So explore again. So as you progress to your right, then you can add more cases to your roster. Okay, so you have to more or less paint. <laughs> you have to um, try to uh, go further in the levels for each research zone as far as possible so that your yield here, your yield per 12 hours would be big. So if you don't go further, definitely your yield will be smaller. So. The smaller the yield here, um, in terms, I'm sorry, not this one. The yield here for this currency, your crystal, your crystalline cells will be used to upgrade your vibration arms. If you don't have these, then the upgrade for those would be slow. Also for this currency here, forgot what this name, uh, the name of this one, but again, both of these, the red ones, are being used to upgrade your vibration arms. These two are um, for the store. So you have your store here. You can use them here. You can purchase crystalline cells as well. You could also do copies of SSR and SR. I would suggest that you spend them wisely on these. These are your SSR. So not this one. That is the draw. So more or less try to spend it on SSR because they're hard to find. Um, don't spend it on the other currencies here, except, except for this one. So take note, these two are different. There's a small difference here. So for this currency, your Expedition Core Point, please don't use it on the others. Please use it for SSRs because SSRs are ultimately going to be your final vibration arms. So that is it, guys. So hopefully I was able to help you with um, Chimera Contact and also have an explanation on your vibration arm. So this gives us really a big boost, especially if we want to go, you know, to move further in this game. This is your, you know, is your easiest in terms of increasing your stats increasing your level as well and this is max at 100 for each of 
the vibration arm. So that is it, guys. So thank you very much for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is the warden, and I'm out of here.